They have focused on building more capable systems safely and responsibly. This includes our next generation foundation model, Gemini, which is still in training. Imagine a world where you can talk to a computer that can understand and generate data such as text, images, audio, video and more. Sounds amazing, right? The world is not too far away thanks to two powerful and competing technologies, ChatGPT4 and Gemini. This video will explore how Google's Gemini is a solid competition for ChatGPT4, the latest and most advanced language model from OpenAI. Language models such as ChatGPT4 are computer programs that can generate or understand natural language. They learn the patterns and rules of language by training on large amounts of text data. ChatGPT4 is a popular language model that can process text, images, audio, video and other data. It can perform a variety of tasks across domains and interact with users through a chatbot interface called ChatGPT+. However, Ensuring its safety in alignment with human values and goals, as well as generating high quality and relevant outputs are among the challenges and limitations it faces. Now, let's shift our focus to Google's Gemini, the next generation AI architecture expected to replace Palm 2, the current AI model powering many of Google's AI services. Gemini aims to enable these services to simultaneously analyze or generate text, images, audio, video, and other data types. With the help of Gemini, these services will be able to provide new features and capabilities that surpass the current models of Palm 2 and ChatGPT4. Gemini is expected to unlock new possibilities and offer more advanced and efficient solutions to the challenges associated with AI-powered language models. Gemini is still in development and is expected to be a key rival to ChatGPT4 once launched. According to Google, Gemini is built to be multimodal, focusing on tool and API integrations. This will allow for wider collaborative efforts and more applications and services that use Gemini's power. Gemini is also designed to accommodate future developments such as improved memory and planning. These features will make Gemini more general purpose and adaptable than ChatGPT4. Gemini is an upcoming project from Google that promises to revolutionize AI-powered capabilities for users. While it is still shrouded in mystery, we can get hints about what it will enable from the Palm 2 powered capabilities revealed at Google I.O. One of the most exciting capabilities that Gemini will bring is Duet AI, a tool for generating text and images within apps like Google Docs and Sheets. This kind of generation should help users add depth to their ideas, provide more well-rounded spreadsheets and improve explanations of data. The tool is designed to work seamlessly with Google's existing apps and should be welcome addition for users who need to create more compelling and engaging content. Duet AI should also help users save time and effort by generating content automatically and intelligently based on the user's input and preferences. Another exciting tool that Gemini will bring is Help Me Write, which assists users with writing tasks such as essays, proposals or resumes. This tool should help users improve their writing skills, style and grammar and provide suggestions and feedback. With Help Me Write, users can expect personalized recommendations considering their writing style, target audience and overall goals. For instance, users can use Help Me Write to get feedback on their tone, clarity, coherence and structure of their writing or to get suggestions on how to improve their vocabulary, syntax or punctuation. Help Me Write should also help users avoid plagiarism by checking their writing for originality and providing proper citations. Finally, Gemini will also bring a new AI integrated search feature that redefines Google's biggest product, Search. This product should now allow users to ask complex and natural questions and get relevant and accurate answers from various sources. With this new feature, users can expect to find answers to their questions more quickly and easily without sifting through irrelevant results or navigating complicated search interfaces. For example, users can use this feature to ask questions like, what are the best places to visit in India? Or how does nuclear fusion work? And get answers from reliable sources like Wikipedia, Google Maps, or scientific journals. This feature should also help users learn more about their topics of interest by providing related information, images, videos, or links. In conclusion, Gemini promises to be an exciting addition to Google's suite of AI-powered tools and capabilities. With Duet AI, Help Me Write, and AI Integrated Search, users can expect access to more powerful and effective tools that will help them work more efficiently, write more effectively, and find the information they need more quickly and easily. These tools should also enhance the user's creativity, productivity, and learning by providing them with more data, insights, and inspiration. Palm 2 also powers non-productivity features such as MedPalm 2, trained on health research terms using medical knowledge, and SecPalm used for cybersecurity analysis. We can expect Gemini to continue to build on these features and domains and explore new ones. One of the main challenges is ensuring the scalability and efficiency of the model. Gemini is expected to be larger and more complex than ChatGPT4, so it will require more data and computation to train and run. This may pose problems for the availability and accessibility of the model, as well as its environmental impact. To address this issue, Google is developing new techniques and technologies to optimize
optimise the performance and cost of Gemini. They are also investing in renewable energy sources and carbon offsets to reduce the carbon footprint of Gemini. For example, Google is using techniques like distillation, pruning, quantization, and sparsification to reduce the size and complexity of Gemini without compromising its quality. They are also using technologies like tensor processing units, TPUs, which are specialized hardwired devices that can accelerate the training and inference of Gemini. Moreover, Google is committed to achieving 100% carbon-free energy for its operations by 2030, which means that Gemini will run on clean and renewable energy sources like solar, wind, or hydro. Another challenge is ensuring the safety and reliability of the model. Gemini is designed to be multimodal, which means it can handle different types of data and tasks. However, this also increases the risk of generating inaccurate or harmful content, especially when dealing with sensitive domains like health or security. To mitigate this risk, Google is applying rigorous testing and evaluation methods to Gemini and incorporating ethical principles and human oversight into its development process. Google hopes that by overcoming these challenges, Gemini will be able to provide a powerful and versatile AI platform for various applications and users. For instance, Google is using methods like adversarial testing, human evaluation, and feedback loops to ensure that Gemini can generate high quality and diverse content that meets the user's expectations. They are also using methods like fairness testing, bias mitigation, and explainability to ensure that Gemini can generate fair and trustworthy content that respects the user's values and rights. Furthermore, Google is following ethical principles like privacy, accountability, and social benefit to ensure that Gemini can generate responsible and beneficial content that aligns with the user's interests and needs. Another challenge is ensuring the diversity and inclusivity of the model. Gemini is trained on a large and diverse corpus of text data from the internet, which may reflect the diversity of human languages and cultures. However, it may not always capture the nuances and subtleties of different languages and dialects or the preferences and needs of different users and communities. This may cause Gemini to generate or respond with outputs that may not be appropriate or respectful for some users or contexts. For example, Gemini may produce insensitive or offensive outputs to some cultures or groups that do not respect the user's privacy or consent. To address this issue, Google is incorporating more human feedback from users and experts from different backgrounds and perspectives. They are also developing new methods and metrics to evaluate and improve Gemini's diversity and inclusivity. In conclusion, Gemini is a groundbreaking AI model that aims to revolutionize the way users interact with data and content. By leveraging multimodal capabilities, Gemini can generate text and images with in apps like Google Docs and Sheets, assist users with writing tasks like essays or resumes, and provide users with relevant and accurate answers from various sources. However, Gemini also faces significant challenges in terms of scalability, efficiency, safety, and reliability. To overcome these challenges, Google is employing various techniques and technologies to optimize the performance and cost of Gemini, as well as various methods and principles to ensure the quality and ethics of Gemini. By doing so, Google hopes to provide users with a powerful and versatile AI platform that will help them more efficiently work write more effectively and find the information they need more quickly and easily. As you can see, Google's Gemini is a solid competition for ChatGPT4 as it aims to surpass it in multimodality, generality, collaboration, memory, planning, scalability, efficiency, diversity, and inclusivity. Gemini promises to bring new possibilities and opportunities for artificial intelligence, natural language processing, and chatbots, as well as new challenges and risks that must be addressed. We're excited to see how Google's Gemini will shape the future of communication and information. That's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.